think you're content with what you know you are, you know? I mean, we know how big our band is, you know, we know how long we've been around. It's not like when we were first putting records out and we're, everybody's vying for that number one spot on the top, trying to be the best band. I think after so many years, you know your place in the music business and you just try to uh, work from there. After what, the first record came out in 1985, to be able to do this in 2018 and still be able to come out with a lot of people, you know, tonight's, it's not a big venue, but it's sold out, you know, for us, which is great. I know so many bands that, you know, that you love them for what their sound is, and then all of a sudden they come out with a record that you're like, the hell was that, you know? And so I think that um, Exodus has never really done that. We've always been all about brutality and violence, and I think you get that for on every record. I went and saw, um, what was it, The Quiet Place recently. And that was a really smart horror movie. It's about, um, you have to be quiet or the monsters will come and get you. So I don't know if they've, they've it's, it's been a big success in America. And I thought that was kind of cool. So if you like make a sound, they can find you. So you have to be quiet everything you do. And I thought that that was, uh, pretty original idea for a horror movie because it seems like it's all been done before. And there was a movie that came out, I saw it on the bus this morning, the bus driver had it a couple of years ago called The Babadook. And it was about a picture book, you know, and if you read the, the book, he actually appears. And I, I, I liked that too. I thought that that was cool. But I still like all the classics. I can watch Dracula over and over and over again. And obviously The Exorcist is just because of the content and the verbiage that the demon used, you know, it was just like shocking to hear that. What she did with the cross, you know what I mean? And it's just very way before its time, you know, just the things that went on when she was possessed were so creepy and scary, you know, so always, that's why it's always my favorite. I think they've kind of ruined the zombie thing a little bit. It's all, it, with every zombie movie you see, it's the same thing over and over again. I don't even watch The Walking Dead anymore because it's the same thing over and over. And it's not really about the, the zombies. It's more about human struggle and the situation, you know, and so, you know, society, how society turns and how people react or act when such a thing happens. I watch every zombie movie just to see if there's something new that I like the gore. I used to be like, tearing up, and I think that's all. That that's a good part of it. But um, there's no more Ozzy Osbournes anymore. There's no more Black Sabbaths anymore. They're gone. You know, where's the iconic bands that initially came out with the sounds that you love? A lot of fans come up to me, and and since. Slayer has announced that this is their last tour and they won't be continuing on. Glenn Tipton isn't playing with Judas Priest anymore. You know, he actually does. He plays three songs in the set. And, you know, as people are getting a look, we lost Lemmy a couple of years ago. So Motorhead's done. A lot of things can happen. I think that, and I have to be along with them, I haven't really seen any band that would, that really impresses me that looks like they're going to be a Judas Priest or an Iron Maiden, you know, that size of band and, and be able to carry on for 40 years with that same, you know, push and all the same people and building more fans. It'll be curious to see what happens.
I remember back when I was a kid, if I even got a glimpse of one of my heroes walking off the bus, you know, into the venue, I'm like, oh my God, I just saw him. He was just standing right there. It was so cool. And I think because of social media, Instagram, things like that, we've let people in our lives, you know what I mean? I, I show, you know, my family on Instagram and my dogs and what I'm doing today. Before, you never knew, I would never know, wow, what, I wonder what Jimmy Page is doing today. You know, when I was a kid, I wonder what Robert Plant, what is he doing today? You know what I mean? This way, it's kind of brought you to what I'm doing today. You know what I mean? If I put something on Instagram and post it, I put a picture of us yesterday. Hey, we're here in Paris. We were all drinking beers. We'll see you guys tomorrow night, you know? And so people identify with that. And the fans that are here in Paris are like, wow. They're in our town right now when they're ready to go. The mystique has been shot for years, unfortunately, and you can't fix that. There's a lot of what goes on in the bands and behind stage, out when we're not working, whatever, that people know now. If I ever got a glimpse of even one of my fucking heroes walking off the bus from here to that door, you, you never saw that before. You had to open up a magazine to see his face before. Now you. Magazines are gone because there's no magazines anymore. So it's a lot different. Yeah.